more unboxings today or rather an enveloping um i've been on a perfume buying rampage i guess is the best way of describing it so i've gotten to a point where i don't know what i am receiving so let's see what's in this envelope here oh it's here it's dolce and gabbana limparatrice number three. Oh, i cannot wait to try this um Again, this is a YouTube buy because I saw several YouTubers talking about this and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to definitely get this. Um, yeah, let's open it up. I got this one from fragrancedirect.co.uk. But yeah, it's a very simply designed box. So it's going for a minimalist vibe. So, oh... I gotta say the bottle is very very boring a uh, plastic cap that reminds me of medicine cough bottles but let's have a look at what it's like on the inside limparatrice number three from dolce and gabbana this is me thinking ahead to spring and summer and i've heard that this is a very good spring summer um this is a very good spring summer perfume. Um, I gotta say, bottle design wise, if I was just walking past in a perfume shop, this just would not catch me. It's, it's not a good looking bottle. It reminds me of those old fashioned cough syrup bottles, you know, the ones with the lid. Um, so, yeah, bottle is not my cup of tea, but never mind. Um, so, I'm expecting this to smell like a bowl of fruits because that's what a lot of the YouTubers who talk about it have said. And um, according to some of the sites, the top notes are kiwi, rhubarb, pink pepper. I like kiwi. I have three rhubarb plants growing in my garden. Um, the middle notes are supposed to be watermelon, cyclamen and jasmine. I have some jasmine flowers and cyclamen. In my garden, jasmine has got a very strong musky smell, so I'm familiar with that one. The cyclamens, I can't say that they've got a very distinguishable smell that I have ever picked up in all of my years of gardening. But it might very well be that the smell is based on something that they grind up on the roots or something like that. And who doesn't love the smell of watermelons? <laughs> the base notes are lemon tree, not lemon fruit, but lemon tree, musk and sandalwood. So... I've noticed that I quite like musk and sandalwood bases um, in varying degrees. I don't like it when it's a little bit too musky. Right, so we're going to try it on this hand here. I'm not getting anything from the bottle, I have to say. So there isn't anything, so I have to uh, spray it on. Oh, ended up on my clothes. <laughs> Okay, so very fresh. I'm not like overwhelmed by any particularly strong note or anything like that. I'm getting a touch of the little of the watermelon, just a little bit of the watermelon. Very, very little amount of watermelon. I mean, to say and key, uh, I can't pick up any of the kiwi at all. I'm not getting any kiwi. I mean, to say that kiwi is supposed to be a top note. Hmm. I don't know. It's pr it probably develops over time. But I have to say I'm not being hit by, you know, fruit, 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 like a bowl of fruit as I expected from um, the thing that made me want to buy it. I'm going to let it sit on my hand for a bit and then I will come back. Okay, so it's been about six minutes and I've just been letting it sit on there to see if it changes. And um, I'm no longer getting that little bit of watermelon that I was getting before. It's quite strange, but I feel like this is the first perfume that I've smelt that isn't 
something that I would call sweet in the traditional sense of the other perfumes that I've liked that are sweet. It's very light. I can see why this is considered a spring-summer uh, fragrance. I'm certainly not feeling like right now in winter I want to wear it, but I'll definitely be wearing it in spring once spring rolls around. Mm. And it's quite soft now. I can see myself wearing this when I just want something that's nice and clean and soft and not too heavy. But yeah, I can't comment on the longevity, although I've heard good things about it. So fingers crossed it uh, lasts as long on me. The musk in this is very, very minimal. I am not getting a strong muskiness to it. There's a touch of sandalwood. The sandalwood is beginning to come through. And it's lovely. I quite like sandalwood in fragrances. I think it adds a certain va 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 voom, you know, because I always liked the essential oil as well, because my background with fragrances is to do with the essential oils and aromatherapy. But I am realizing that um, the Neroli essential oil doesn't necessarily smell like what they say is Neroli in perfume. So I'm learning to adjust to that but yeah it's beautiful it's a beautiful light floaty flirty fragrance and i will look forward to wearing this in spring and summer yeah so yeah this is very light mm. thank you for watching